What's going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Wizland with Wiz. Uh, happy to be with you guys today. So today we're going to be talking about how to build confidence in 2023. Uh, I personally believe that confidence is one of the main uh, traits that a man has to develop. Uh, you're not going to be born with confidence and, and it is a skill and it is something that you can develop and get better at. Uh, just based on my personal experience, based on my personal life, um, I've gotten from a point of where I had zero confidence uh, to eventually in high school getting a, a lot of confidence and then eventually uh, after high school uh, being able to develop and work on that because I have gone through times where I don't feel confident and it has to do with a lot of things that I have not been able to attain. But in that same token, I've been able to uh, learn from those mistakes and learn from those things. And, and that's why I do feel that I'm still in that working working process of becoming better um, and just working in that part of my own personal life. Uh, so let me start with the first thing that I truly believe will help you with uh, developing your confidence, and that is saying no. Um, a lot of people uh, don't have that uh, ability to say no to things. And that's one of my main things that even though that I'm always open to helping people. I learned that sometimes you have to be able to say no uh, when things do not align with your own uh, personal take about life. If you don't have, if things don't align with your values, your goals, um, or whatever it might be, uh, you have to say no. Um, for me, it's been within my art, uh, particular art uh, career that I'm trying to develop, that I'm that I am developing. Uh, basically, when I've had commissions, uh, people try to ask for commissions of certain things for a certain amount of price. And I had to say no, because I do value my work. I do value my time. So if the price is not right, if the price is not where I need it to be, then it's not worth my time, regardless if it's um, only, let's say, X amount of money away from what I'm looking for. I say no, because I do believe that there's a certain price and a certain point. Uh, that is, it is just not worth it for me. Uh, I'm a big believer that when uh, someone is starting their own business, uh, you have to be able to support them just like you would support any other company. Um, and usually uh, when you're trying to, uh, friends or things of that nature, when they try to get a discount from you, uh, you have to be able to say no. Why? Because the same people do not look for discounts when they're buying from a big business. Uh, and that's the same that same perspective that I, that I take with my own uh, money. If I'm supporting a friend or if or I'm supporting a small business, I pay full price. I'm not looking for a discount because I definitely believe um, that if I would go to Louis Vuitton or if I would go to one of these big stores and try to get something from them, they're not going to give me no discount. So if I'm not looking for a discount from a big company like that, why should I be uh, do, doing the same for doing that for someone that is just starting off? So learn to say no, um, because I definitely believe that that will uh, put you in a, in a place of confidence. Um, the more you're able to say no, the more you get used to saying no, uh, the more you're going to value your time, value yourself and value your energy. Um, and I think that's very important for any man out there. If you're trying to become successful, if you're trying to become better, even if you're just trying to build your fitness, um, the ability for you to say no is going to be very important. So that's number one. Uh, number two. So um, with having said that, uh, managing stress is one of the most important things that you can do for yourself. Uh, I understand that there's there might be a lot of circumstances in our lives that kind of bring that stress to our lives. Um, but I've learned that the more you get used to being able to feel uncomfortable and being able to manage that, uh, the more successful you will be. Uh, you have to understand that life is not easy. Life will never be easy. And because life will never be easy, you will always be tested in certain aspects of things. Uh, managing stress for me has become one of the main things that I've learned how to manage. Um, and I noticed that when I'm, I'm allowing myself to feel stress, and that's maybe... I'm doing a lot of work and I'm not, I'm not prioritizing going into the gym or, or allowing myself to, to relieve that stress. That's when I do go through routes in my life. So you have to understand whatever you might, you have to find an outlet for you to be able to manage your stress. So for me, it's the gym. Um, I go to the gym. Now I'm going to the gym every single day. Um, and I'm very much, I don't, I'm not saying I have 
amazing workers every day. Um, but for the most part, 90% of my workers are very focused. Um, and that is something that I use to relieve my stress. Usually when I go to, um, to work out and I finish my workout, I feel very relieved. I feel that I left everything on the gym and now I can go about my day in a matter of confidence. Now I can start, not saying that I can start my day, but now, like, I feel like every single stress that I have maybe built through work prior to going to the gym, because I usually work out in the evenings, is kind of like a reset for me. So I'm able to go back to work, go back to like doing the, the work, not only on my eight to five, but also with my own um, personal um, art career. So you have to understand that the more you learn how to manage your stress and you have to find an outlet, that could be for you maybe just doing yoga, maybe going to therapy, maybe um, just relaxing your brain, maybe reading, maybe just going to the beach, whatever it might be, you have to find it. You have to find out what it is and you have to be able to uh, incorporate and prioritize that so you cannot feel stress every day. And I'm not saying that you're not gonna feel stress um, sometimes because it's just reality of life. If you're going, if you're you're doing a lot of things and you're not seeing immediate outcomes, there is gonna be there is gonna come a point where you're gonna feel stress. But managing that stress and, and understanding how you can actually relieve yourself from that stress is gonna be very important for you to build the confidence um, because it's gonna show you that you're able to to work against um, the current uh, and you're able to uh, um, to overcome obstacles. And when you are able to overcome obstacles and you're able to manage how you feel, trust me, you're going to be building um, your your own self and you're going to become more confident about how you carry your own life and yourself in life. So that's number two. Number three is setting goals, guys. You have to set goals in, and be able to show to yourself that you can achieve these goals. And sometimes you have to start with small goals. Uh, one of the biggest um, things that I found out, um, and I found this uh, tip from Todd McFarlane. McFarlane, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, but he's the creator of Spawn. Whatever so it is, it is. Whatever your dream is, assume the answer is no. I know moms, again, I don't mean to pick on moms, but they don't get it sometimes. Moms will always tell you, first, don't lie, always say yes. Number two, keep the bar high, no. Keep the bar as low as you can. And here's why you want your bar low. This is, look at, if I put the bar this low, watch, watch this. Look at how easy it is to get over low bars, right? Low bars are easy to get over. Keep the bar low. So when you go into a job, give it the best you've got. And then when they say, we're not gonna hire you, you walk out of the room and you go nailed it. Fun is one of my um, favorite characters as a whole. Like, if you don't even, like I have him tatted on, on my um, shoulder. So Spawn, for me, is one of those anti-heroes that is just a cool anti-hero. So um, I like his backstory. That's one of the main reasons I tatted, uh, like I have him tatted on my on my um, skin. But you have to understand that sometimes you have to um, put goals in front of you that you might be able to surpass those goals. And they don't have to be big ass goals. And I'm not saying also be like things that you can immediately just do out of the gate, but sometimes when you've, you're in a rut, you have to set achievable goals so you can actually show yourself that you're able to attain certain things and you have that proof that you just attain certain things. For example, if for the last um, week you have not gone to the gym, the issue is that you have not gone to the gym. So maybe your goal for the, for the next day is go to the gym. And then once you go to the gym, you attain that goal. And, and that's one of the things you have to understand. Like if you're having issues with eating um, and you're eating bad every single day, maybe your goal is not to buy out today. And then if you're not, if you don't buy out, then you're able to show yourself that, yeah, I'm able to not buy out today. So let me try that again tomorrow. So it's just about setting small goals sometimes so you can actually show yourself that you can attain those small goals and then you can kind of build on those goals and just create bigger goals for your life. Uh, that's one of the main things that I've I've noticed for myself that I once I, if I don't have anything going on for me where every, nothing is going on for me, everything I'm failing, I'm not where I need to be. Maybe I don't feel good. Uh, maybe I don't feel motivated, inspired or anything or whatever the case might be. 
I'll start to I'll stop to analyze how can I actually switch that mindset or switch that going for me and just create a small goal that I can attain immediately. And, and sometimes it's just like I said, it's just simple things like that. Or maybe um, you notice that you have not been able to um, sell anything. Maybe it's time for you to see how you can go about maybe reducing the price or whatever it is that you're selling. Or maybe you can reach out to to a past client and, and just check on 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 people that ha that you already know kind of like your stuff and just kind of follow up with that customer. So you have to understand that there's so many things about life in general that sometimes we, when you're not confident is it could be the fact that you're not um, you're not achieving things immediately and you're not seeing that anything can change. But when you start creating those small goals. Trust me, you're gonna build that all that self momentum for yourself, and then you're gonna show yourself that you can change things um, as long as you're uh, trying to set goals and attain them. Um, so yeah, guys, I think that that's the three things that I definitely would advise you to really start thinking about. And that three things, if you start doing these three things, you're gonna see yourself feeling more confident uh, because these are things that you can immediately start changing right away. So yeah, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. If you like the video. If you watch to the end, subscribe, leave a comment, um, and share the content, man. More content like this to come. I hope you have an amazing remaining 2022, and I'll see you in 2023. Take care.